we get to talk. And it's usually the best part for, for me and for Craig, who we've done this piece many times with piano, and then I've done it many times without piano. Did anyone have any questions or comments? Yeah. Your mom said nobody in the family had any musical talent, yet she had a degree in music. Yep. Any, any, any explanation for that? Or is it just one of those? So know, we could she, speculate. Yeah. Um, no money for piano. Uh, older sister jealousy. Mm. Kind of negative comments about her piano playing. Um, uh, Self-esteem, being in a new country, no language, no employment, too busy with the little kids, just maybe there was some heartache there about, about the music um, part of her life and she didn't want to pass that on to me. We can only speculate, because I can tell you we never talked about it. <laughs> Where is Craig? Where is he? Craig is in um, Palm Beach County. He's, the, he's won very many Carbonell Awards for musical theater composition. And he's the full-time musical theater uh, teacher at the School of the Arts, the High School of the Arts in West Palm. And he's a church musician, just never available. <laughs> what happened to Tio Simon? Tio Simon. <laughs> Tio Simon um, didn't like to spend money, so he didn't hire workers to help him. He was crushed to death by a desk that he was moving. When? If you mention that you have a brother, I... Oh, my brother. My brother, yes. My brother is a firefighter in Miami. And um, he had a very difficult childhood, you can imagine. I was the star. Um, and uh, he and I haven't communicated in more than 30 years. He's, I, I communicate that way, but nothing comes back. Have you touched with any of your other relatives? I, I know that you had a cousin that you mentioned was coming. Yes, yes, I have cousins in Buenos Aires, um, and uh, I'm still connect, very connected to them. We talk a lot. And I still have an aunt who's alive, and I attribute that to drinking mate every day. <laughs> for, for the last, uh, she's 90 now, so she's been drinking it her entire life. And I think that it keeps her mind sharp, and uh, she she's in good health. You mentioned this was commissioned in '96. Uh -huh. So by whom, and then what have you been doing in between '96 and now? Uh, it was the Demetrius Klein Dance Company. They had a special festival for new art, and uh, they commissioned Craig and I to create this piece, and. Um, that was the first time we tested it out, because this isn't the normal way that clarinetists present um, music. And we didn't know how it would be. And since then, it's been changing. For instance, we had no visual information. I wasn't using the purse back then, because I hadn't connected the dots yet. And um, there were other elements of the story that I've integrated since, and I've learned a lot more about things that happened by just being curious and asking people. Um, and I've done it very many times. It's been on national public radio in South Florida uh, twice. Once live and once as a CD recording. So it does very well with just audio, with just as a radio program. Susan. I'm River. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in the lost love that your mother had, and his still his connection with her many 
many, many years later, and you alluded to him making some kind of deathbed. deathbed statement about your mother. He never remarried. He never married. So these are the big white spaces in my life. Um, it turns out that Catalina ended up going to Italy one year, and she hooked up with the captain and his family. I don't know if he married, I don't think so. Um, and um, he would send letters to the house, and he would send dried fruit. Um, I remember a box of dried fruit from Italy arriving, and he would send gifts to, to us. So, and, they, and there was talk of El Capitan del Tone, El Capitan. So it was in my, in my memory, auditory memory. That's all I know. I know that my cousin said, you know, um, she encouraged me to destroy a lot of things after my mother died because it was not a nice thing that my mother had these letters. Mm -hmm.